speeches from some officials and uh, some players, and then uh, the opportunity to ask questions to any coaches or players uh, that you like. It's free and open. Uh, so that's it. Um, as everybody knows, today is a very historic moment for the great game of rugby league. Uh, 110 years ago, when the game was formed in England, the game was slowly spread to Australia, the Southern Hemisphere, uh, America, bits of Europe, South Africa, and now it's arrived in Asia. And uh, it's been a great uh, journey between now and uh, February when this uh, idea started between the officials of uh, Thailand Rugby League and the Philippines Rugby League. Uh, and since that uh, day in February, uh, eight months later, here we are today. And uh, a lot of hard work's gone into it. And uh, it's an absolute pleasure to have uh, the players here today uh, who have paid mostly from the Philippines guys and some Thai guys from their own money to be here today and to represent their countries, which I know they're going to do proudly. I'd also like to welcome uh, our referees that have flown over from Australia, Gavin Badger and Casey Badger. Uh, <laughs> also the two um, sideline officials, Sean Tumor and Jason Van Poonsen. Uh, as, as, as everybody knows, uh, it's a historic occasion having uh, Gavin and Casey uh, being a first uh, husband and wife uh, combination to referee in any sport and uh, it's going to happen uh, for the Asia Cup and uh, that's great for our game and it's great for both the Badgers as well and I uh, want to congratulate all the officials on their appointments and thank you for attending, uh, especially Gavin, he's done over 100 NRL games and for him to be here for this weekend is just a great bonus and we thank you very much for making the effort guys. So from humble beginnings, the Thailand and Philippines fledgling rugby league teams uh, to play our first game and what a great moment it is. Uh, short history of the Philippines, they got together last uh, December and uh, played in the Cabramatta Nines in Sydney and uh, won the bowl tournament which was a fantastic effort. Uh, they've come here today, uh, sorry, come to Thailand to uh, start off the uh, rugby league in Asia and then after this they're going over to um, the Philippines to spread the word and help develop the game. Uh, going to orphanages and coaching clinics and it just goes to show what a great bunch of uh, guys they are. And I wish you all, all the best for that, guys, when you just get over there. Uh, the Thailand Rugby League, well, from, uh, from a few humble meetings we've got here today, and it's been a great achievement. And our players come from far and wide. And uh, it's a pleasure to have you here today, guys, um, representing Thailand, uh, your country, and some, and some of you, your adopted country. And I, I, know, I know from training and talking to the guys, um, they're jumping out of their skin to play and it's um, fantastic to see us here. Uh, both the Philippines Rugby League and the Thailand Rugby League, we're committed to growing the game in Asia. Um, it's been a joint promotion, even though the game's in Bangkok. Uh, and we're looking forward to uh, growing the game here with the Asia Cup and we're, we're constantly in contact with other countries such as Japan and China and Hong Kong and all, all, of, them, all of them, we want them to join together and um, we, we grow the game here in Asia and uh, it's, you know, that's what we want to do and we're committed to it. Just on the two trophies, you might see two trophies here, I'll just quickly explain what they are. Uh, the first trophy is the Asia Cup trophy and that, as I said, we want that to be for all Asian countries and we're hoping to have a tri-series tri next year with Japan, Japan, Philippines and Thailand. And that's what we're looking forward to. And the, the Friendship Cup is for matches between Thailand and the Philippines. <laughs> Let's hope that uh, these trophies are very sought after in future internationals and uh, hopefully they're very fought after like the Bledisloe Cup and 
things like that. So yeah, we're looking forward to a strong relationship between the Thailands and the Philippines rugby leagues, and he, and this weekend we'll start it off. Uh, that's all I've got, guys. What I'll do, I'll um, pass it on to um, Thailand rugby league Charlie Jones, and he's got a few words. Uh, first of all, sweaty cup. Um, I actually flew it in Thai, but obviously there's not really many Thai speakers here. So I just want to say a few things. Like, I, I was born in Australia, lived in Australia my life. Uh, my mother, my mother was Thailand from Buriram. Uh, it's pretty, it's like a sort of uh, country town in Thailand. Um, just hearing stories when I'm growing up from my uncles and stuff. Um, just a privilege just to come to Thailand and represent the country. You know, it means a lot, uh, not just to me, but obviously to my family, obviously to um, everyone in Thailand as well. Uh, first, the boys here, uh, welcome, welcome, welcome together, especially Thailand guys. You know, we've had a few training sessions together, we've gelled well. Um, obviously the Philippines, you guys, you guys are all new together, you guys are all from all over the place as well. Um, this game, this game here, you know, it's a friendship game. I know everyone's going to give it at all, um, but more importantly, guys, let's enjoy it. Let's thank the sponsors, spend, thank everyone for putting everything together, um, bringing us all here, because we're going to have an awesome time. The next couple of days, obviously, be something we're going to remember uh, for the rest of our life. Uh, just let, like to uh, leave on one note. Um, after the game, boys, let's enjoy the story of beer together and get to know everyone. And, and happy days. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Charlie. I now call on uh, Clayton Martini, the head coach of the Philippines. Uh, yeah, thanks, Andrew. Uh, just uh, I'd like to welcome everybody as well. Uh, um, thanks very much for the TRL for uh, Thailand, I believe, for hosting us uh, in this great establishment. Uh, been here for almost a week now, and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, also, I'd like to thank the Rugby League International Federation for allowing us to be to do such thing like the Asian Cup. Um, we've been working close with Andrew and this thing's still on, or yeah. Yeah. yeah, can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've been working close with Andrew and, uh, and Taz to um, try and get this underway, and this is from February when we first spoke about it, uh, all the way up to now. It's been uh, uh, it's come up so quick. Uh, also, I'd like to thank uh, all the PNRL uh, players and staff. Thanks very much, guys, for digging deep in your pockets and making this an uh, historical occasion. Uh, it means a lot to us. Um, also, I'd like to thank, like, again, just, uh, the officials for uh, coming over and uh, do this. Uh, also, what else we got here? Um, the sponsors, Thailand sponsors, rugby league sponsors, and also our sponsors. Without them, we couldn't couldn't also put this on, so it's a great pleasure to have you guys on board. Um, I'd like to hand over to Luke here, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. see that I'd just like to say um, yeah, thank you to uh, Thailand Rugby League, um, the officials uh, for coming all the way from Australia, um, yeah, Taz Bateri uh, you know, helping us get get the start of the Philippines. Um, it's a massive, massive bloody um, <laughs> uh, opportunity for myself and massive honour for myself, family, uh, Philippines and um, getting Philippines Rugby League. Um, on the map of International Rugby League. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, to have to have th this bunch of boys here together, it's it's a massive honour. Um, the family bonding is also based on the fact that we have five sets of brothers in our team, um, and that bond is just spread throughout the whole team. So uh, I also want to thank all the organisers from the PNRL. 
to get the test match underway in under um, hard not to smile, isn't it, when you're here? Yeah, it is. You know, seeing the smile on the kids' faces, it's, hey boys. it's really enlightening. And uh, it's my first time in the Philippines as well, so yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's an awesome experience and it's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. For sure. A lot of people would say that going to an orphanage might be a bit sad, but it's anything but sad, isn't it? No, anything but sad. You know, the kids here, they're, they're all so excited to see us. and. Um, yeah, it's a great honour to be here. And mate, you just had someone on your shoulders. What would the total height be there? Oh, about 20 feet? Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Maybe, maybe 10, if that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a good week? A good yeah, couple of weeks? Great. It's been a great couple of weeks, yeah. Um, haven't really been overseas too much, just to New Zealand, so uh, it's been... Matt, you've been trying to uh, have this happen for, for years, haven't you? What's the, what's the background? You've been trying to promote this? Yeah, it's, been, a... um, it's come along pretty quickly, to be honest. Um, on um, uh, Sunday's Philippines versus Thailand for the Asian Cup, and uh, it's a bit surreal that it's actually going to be going forward. So, uh, yeah, it's a really exciting concept, and hopefully it can continue forward for many years to come. Lots of family and friends here, or...? Uh, no fear, just my brother playing with me, so that, yeah, that's yeah. a first. And, um, yeah, just a lot of good mates I've met. Just a lot last few days, all from Filipino background, so it's a really good concept. And next year maybe in the Philippines, eh? Yeah, yeah, maybe in the Philippines, hopefully come over the title and take it there, yeah. Cheers, Matt, you've been trying to uh, have this happen for, for years, haven't you? What's the, what's the background? You've been trying to promote this? Yeah, it's, been, a... um, it's come along pretty quickly, to be honest. Um, on um, uh, Sunday's Philippines versus Thailand for the Asian Cup, and uh, it's a bit surreal that it's actually going to be going forward. So, uh, yeah, it's a really exciting concept, and hopefully it can continue forward for many years to come. Lots of family and friends here, or? Uh, no fear, just my brother playing with me, so that, yeah, that's yeah. a first. And, um, yeah, just a lot of good mates I've met just the last few days, all from Filipino background, so it's a really good concept. And next year, maybe in the Philippines, eh? Yeah, yeah, maybe in the Philippines. Hopefully, come over the title and take it there, yeah. Cheers, mate.
minutes away from kickoff. Then is the very first international rugby league here in Thailand with uh, this game of the Philippines. Tamaraz, I think is the, uh, is that correct? Along with the Thailand stars. Philippine team are Will Dreams, Richard Goodwin, Dennis Gordon, Kevin Gordon, Ron Pina, Matt Srama, Justin Ridley, Glenn Power, the captain at number nine, Luke Srama, Rez Phillips, Ned.
Another score for the Philippines this time. This is the first time in this historic match for the rugby league. Yes. In Thailand, we don't know how the rugby league play. We play only the 15 as I am in the rugby union. Can you introduce this sport yes. to the Thai people? Yes, I can. Uh, rugby league is a 13-man team as opposed to the 15. 
Uh, it's a game, they're very similar games uh, in rugby. The major difference in rugby league is that you have the ball for six times rather than have rucks and balls. So when a team has the ball, they run and they continue with the ball trying to move forward. Where rugby union, they can kick it and they can run also, but there is no restriction on how many times they get tackled. They can continue on set after set after set. Uh, rugby league also does not have any line out. So when the ball goes out, we have scrum. Also, the scrums are not the same as rugby. They are not competitive, so the ball goes in and the ball goes out. Uh, rugby, also, rugby league have different athletes. Uh, you see in the rugby union have the prop, big, stocky, short, drilled big men, where the rugby league men are more athletic, they're more slim, um, and the, they can run, and they're, and they're likely to be stronger than the rugby union player. The athlete, yeah, yes, yeah. So, uh, how about the game today? Can you explain? Today? Yes. How how well they play? Oh, look, uh, the, the scoreboard uh, said Philippines 86, yeah. Thailand nil, but uh, the Thailand effort was uh, courageous. Uh, we had to make so many tackles. Mm -hmm. uh, the Thailand team were very inexperienced and on their first game they were a little bit overall shy and the Philippines uh, they, they have some very experienced players. Are they professional? I mean, they have they have three professional players really? yes, and yeah. Uh, Thailand we have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah so uh, the Philippines today prepared well for the game. They took they took Thailand serious they they showed us respect and uh, we are very happy about that they, they did that. Uh, for for Thailand for this game it is an honour for us to take the field. The, the scoreboard did not matter. And our, our Thai boys, especially the, the natural Thai guys from Chiang Mai and Bangkok that played today, they put in a very good performance. And I'm, as their coach, I'm very proud of them. How long have been the Thailand been trained? Not very long at all. Uh, we got together around April and then in June we had our first training session. Yes, and then from between June and October now, we had four or five training sessions only because of the Thai Rugby Union. And then the last two days we come into camp where we stay together in the Chao Phya Park itself. And we trained for two days and we did some media commitments. We did uh, shopping centre promotion. The, the guys had a great time. And they tell me today that they really enjoyed the experience of rugby league. So it's very good. Yes, it is. Good. Yeah. Okay. And the next question is, uh, what do you think about the future with the uh, rugby league introduced to Thailand? The game has a good future in Thailand because the, the Thailand player is more suited to the game than the rugby union. In rugby, you need to have a big prop and a tall second rower. Where, where in rugby league, the size does not matter. Mm -hmm. You can be any. Any position, it doesn't matter what size. You mean like small, high people yes. can play at will? Yes, as you see in the Philippines game here, the man of the match for Philippines yes. is one of the small players. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the future, what we want to do is um, next June, the Thailand will be invited to the Student World Cup. Mm -hmm. And they would be the only team from Asia to be in the World Cup in England. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we really want to get some sponsors and uh, ensure that we go there. So I'm hoping the Thai Sports Authority can help us there. And also, we want to. Uh, we have had some uh, requests already from other countries, such as Greece and Germany. They want to come here and play against us as well. And of course, we want to go to the Philippines next year and play the Philippines for the Friendship Cup again. Okay. But you mean this trophy? Yes, the trophy. Yeah, yes. Yes. When, whenever Thailand play the Philippines, it is for the Friendship Cup. Do you confident that we are going to grab back yes. from Thailand next year? Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. Uh, we showed a lot of potential today and the Thailand guys really played, but today they learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot to catch up to close the gap, but it will happen with hard work. Finally, would you like to thank to your sponsor this year, and also you looking for the sponsor next year? Yes, 
Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Blue Wealth Property, our major sponsor. Uh, fantastic effort in supporting the whole event. Uh, Treatment Investments, Jewel Finance, Pombell and Associates, Kenny's Aussie Bar in Phuket, Ainsworth Industries, Powerdale Organics, and Scenic Installations. And um, Mortgage Insurance. Everybody, thank you very much for your support, and we hope to have you all again in the future. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Akarin. The touch there is cool. Uh, I'd just like to say uh, this is the first time rugby league in Thailand. We, we have a nickname for Thailand, the greatest game of all. So, welcome, Thailand, to the greatest game of all. Okay, thank Cheers. you, Andrew. Thank, thank you. you. No problem. Waking up in the morning and to be well Quite honest with you, I ain't really sleep well You ever feel like the train across been derailed? That's when you press on, lean in The population just waiting to see me fail Yeah, man, you better off trying to freeze hell Some of us do it for the females And others do it for the beats So I do it for the kids, life through the tower in the morning Every time you fall, it's only making your chin strong And I'll be in your corner like Nick, baby Till the end of when you hear me strong from that big lady until the referee rings the bell, until all of your eyes start to swell, until the crowd goes home, what we gonna do? So we got a little bit of uh, world sporting history, first husband and wife officiating team ever anywhere. What was it like? Uh, I didn't get to have a go. She just kept taking everything. <laughs> she wouldn't give me a go. But any, that was fun. any. Uh, this first time you've done it, case with the two uh, two yeah. reps. Do you find it difficult? Or? Oh no. Um, it sort of came quite, came quite easy. I think watching a lot of a lot of first grade, you sort of uh, sort of get used to it a bit. Um, and you just, it just yeah, it flowed fairly well actually. Now yeah, it, only once or twice we stuffed it up. Now if we had sports here today, would there been any embarrassing conversations that you wouldn't want anyone to hear? Or? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. You want to tell us about them? Or no, not? Not. <laughs> it's not even a conversation. Just the way she looks at me sometimes. <laughs> and what about the touchies? How'd you enjoy it? First time you saw two referees together. Does it work well, do you reckon, or not? Yeah, it's, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good. And how's your week been? Oh, yeah, good down at the lobby bar. I think we managed a couple, but... Let's give yourself another hangover yeah, tonight. I should drop the kilos today. So. <laughs> Last try uh, by you, Kevin, put you just in front of the Stramas. It was 22 all between the families, and oh, the last try put your head. You heard the siren sound, you didn't think about pulling up. No, no. <laughs> Keep going, eh? My brother got three, so I thought we'd get very close to him. I've got two goals, that gets me a bit closer. Yeah, it does, yeah. Every point. <laughs> well, tell us about the afternoon, fellas. What, was it, what do you think will stick in your minds most? Um, oh, just the, the, the chance to play for our country and, and just the, the whole pride and honour of, of actually doing it was just unbelievable. And um, all the coaching staff and, and everyone just helped out and it just felt like we were at home. Now you knew at half time that you were going to win, it was a big scoreline at half time. Is that hard to sort of come out here and keep up the intensity in, in the second half? Yeah, it always is, but you know, we're having fun out there. That was probably the main thing, just have fun and stay, stay in the grind and yeah, just play with play for pride and play for a game. Tell everyone in Australia what you're going to do now, where you're going to uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow, yes. to the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. Philippines. Uh, go to some orphanages and uh, charities and like, yeah, go to kids, help them out. And just actually, yeah, teach them the game, yeah, the game and uh, hand out some of our, our gear and uh, just really promote the game. You've given up your time off to do that, so uh, obviously it's something that's clearly dear to your heart. Yeah, yeah it is. It, it is something we really want to do, and, and bringing the game to, to the Philippines is another. Luke and Matt's drama, um, pretty, pre um, pretty proud day for you, I'd imagine. Yeah, it was really good, you know, not only playing for your country, I you know, got to play uh, alongside my older brother, which is, which is a first as well, so yeah, it's a historic day for rugby league. Family, for everyone, so it's a really great day and the result we're really happy with. So, um, hopefully, we can continue next year. Have you guys got to play together much before? Uh, really? Personally, we've been waiting for this day for years and years and years. We didn't think it would ever happen. Yeah, and what was it? Was it the way you expected? You know, that people say brothers are sort of telepathic. You don't know, do you get out there? Any, any understanding, innate understanding or not? 
Yeah, you know, <laughs> you sort of play a lot. He reminds me of myself when I'm playing hooker, you know, he's really tough and gets in there, he pop the ball out about five times. So, um, yeah, he gives me tips when I go back to the Gold Coast, you know, so, yeah, it was a good moment. Yeah, well, it sort of worked sort of work well in the five eight man hooker, I've controlled. Now, when it was, I think, 80-0 here, and I heard someone shout out, next try wins. Yeah. Like we're in the park. Yeah, did, well, did you hear that? Either way, either way, we ended up getting a win. Yeah, either way, got the win anyway. So, yeah, credit to Ty as well. They really, uh, they were actually pretty tough, and they are really physical. So, it's credit to them. Hopefully, rugby league develops in Thailand, as well as it develops in the Philippines. So, uh, it's a great, as I said, it's a really And he's still a pretty historic afternoon, and an improved performance from the ties after half time as well. Yeah, I think we defended first half and that just tied us out. I mean, the boys could have been shot amazing skill. It was hard coming off the back of just constant sets of defending. We didn't have the ball at all. Second half, when we got a bit of ball, we showed a bit of skill. But by that time, I think the boys were beat. All credit to the Philippines. I think we've got something to build on. Yeah. And what was, uh, what was your, would you have a favourite moment of the game? I know you were heavily beaten, but what sticks in your mind the most? Oh, always a good couple of big hits. That always goes down well, doesn't it? And of course, being 41 years old, being the oldest man on the pitch, still got it. <laughs> and a debutante. So, uh, Charlie, the scoreline wasn't what you hoped for, but it was still a That's great right, day. Mate. Uh, we, we come here, obviously, a lot of the boys never played rugby league together. It was great to get the boys out. Um, Villa, Villa team obviously came from Australia and played a bit of league together. But at the end of the day, look, look, look around, look at all the Thai boys. Everyone's happy. Brings, brings the game regular league to Thailand. We're going to start a future here. Um, that's the main point of the game. It's a friendship game. I'd like to thank the Philly team. You know, the Philly old boys, it's, it's a lot of, it takes a lot of commitment, a lot of pride for, especially, you know, the Bordos. Um, Sarabas coming down here in Thailand. Play for the country uh, means a lot for them. For myself come over here from Australia means a lot for us as well. Um, but I said at the end of the day, we're going to have a beer together and they said rugby league wins. Um, what, what are your plans now? Uh, maybe you go back to play for Burley next year? Yeah, my plans are as soon as I get back to Thailand, um, yeah, head back to Burley and have a cracking cup and see where that goes. Um, never know in the future. But,
running with wolves and I'm on the prowl. Waking up in the morning in the be well Quite honest with you, I ain't really sleep well You ever feel like your train of thoughts been derailed? That's when you press on, lean in Half the population just waiting to see me fail Yeah, right, you better off trying to freeze hell <laughs> Some of us do it for the females And others do it for the retail What I do it for the kids, life through the tower in on Every time you fall, it's only making your chin strong And I'll be in your corner like Nick, baby Till the end of when you hear a song from that big lady until the referee rings the bell Until both your eyes go 